Part two: Installing the antenna. Caution: Outdoor installation of microwave equipment involves working at heights. Ensure the safety of engineers. Chapter one: Preparations for installation. Limited by manufacturing and transportation, large size antennas are disassembled for the convenience of delivery. When goods arrive, you need to assemble the antennas by following the instructions provided along with the goods. Small size antennas don't need to be assembled. Before hoisting the antenna, confirm the height at which the antenna should be installed. Use the compass or GPS to check the azimuth of the antenna. Also verify that the type and polarization direction of the antenna is compliant with the network design. How to adjust the polarization direction of the antenna? By default, the antenna is set to vertical polarization. The polarization identification point on the feeder should be aligned with the V mark. If the polarization direction need to be changed, loosen the screws that are used to fasten the feeder and rotate the feeder 90 degrees so that the polarization identification point is aligned with the H mark. Stop rotating the feeder and fasten the screws on the feeder. You can also judge the polarization direction of the antenna by observing the waveguide of the feeder. If the short side of the rectangular waveguide is vertical to the ground surface, the antenna is vertically polarized. If it is parallel to the ground surface, the antenna is horizontally polarized. Chapter two: Hoisting the antenna. Caution. Ensure no people below the iron tower when installing and commissioning outdoor equipment. Thread the hoisting rope through the hoist rings on the antenna and tightly knot the rope. Bind the pulling rope to the hoisting rope. For a large size antenna, two pulling ropes are required. The two pulling ropes are bound to different points of the hoisting rope to prevent the antenna from rotating when it is being hoisted. The hoisting rope is used to hoist the antenna. The pulling rope is used to pull the antenna to prevent it from colliding with the iron tower. Small size antennas can be easily hoisted to the top of the iron tower by two persons. The installation and fastening is much simpler. For large size antennas, however, pulleys need to be installed on the top of the iron tower. Then the antennas can be hoisted to the top of the iron tower by using a machine or by manpower. After the antenna is securely placed on the top of the iron tower, properly fix the anti-fall bracket to the pole. The anti-fall bracket is used to support the antenna to prevent it from falling during adjustment. Spread anti-seize grease on the four bolts of the antenna. Fix the antenna to the pole. During the fixing, do not remove the hoisting rope from the antenna. Instead, bind it to the iron tower tightly to prevent the antenna from falling. Ensure that the hoisting rope is not removed until the antenna is firmly fixed to the pole. In this process, note the azimuth of the antenna. After the antenna installation is completed, remove the two rubber plugs at the bottom of the antenna shield. Then you can hoist the hybrid coupler and ODUs, which is similar to hoisting the antenna. The pulling rope is required during the hoisting to prevent the hybrid coupler and the ODUs from colliding with the iron tower. Note: Antennas, hybrid couplers, and ODUs must be hoisted separately. Hybrid couplers and ODUs must be separately installed after the antenna installation.